Traveling the light you Good follow morning, guys. Okay. Is it the 16th? Blimey. How have we done 16 days of this already? Um, I am off this morning. It's just coming up to 10 now. My appointment's around the corner, but I'm just going to go get my toenails done. And as we all know with toenails, especially gel toenails, these will last me the whole summer. Possibly into my fourth and final year at university. I don't know what colour I want. I feel like I should go bright if it's summer. I went for brights in the end. They didn't have a massive colour range, so I wanted for something bright and summery, which I'll show you in a minute. And the clouds around will fade away. Cause you're watching over I am off to go see my dad now. I actually need to change because I'm covered in stains. Don't know how. I really need to wash my hair and get it all messy again because I'm so not used to it being all straight and neat. Yeah, I'll actually quickly show you guys what I received in some parcels yesterday. Some of them are a little bit squished, but I got some Garnier bits and bobs. I got a new micellar water, which is good because halfway through my current one. I got this wash scrubber mask and I got this um, moist, oh, it's slipping out, this moisturizer, matte control, anti-shine, anti-blemish. Got some makeup forever bits. Oh, this is from Pure. This is a mascara, I think. Got some makeup forever bits. These are all different orange lip colors and they're all a different finish. So my dad's not actually here yet and I don't exactly know where my key for the house is so I'm just waiting in the car and I keep forgetting to tell you guys that I've actually also now got my course choices for next year so I may as well just run you through those whilst we're chilling here. Um, I'm really really super excited for them actually. I um Ended up getting all four of my first choices, which I'm really pleased about. And like I said before, the course I did the best in, I enjoyed the most. So I feel like next year I'm probably going to do better because I'll enjoy all my courses. So in the first term, I am doing Global Modernism's Inter-National Responses to Modernity. And I think it is about the aesthetic response to modernism or modernity rather, and um, the link between modernity and modernism. There's one book I've read on there already, which is Virginia Woolf's Orlando, which I had to read for my uh, one of my courses last term. And also in the first term, I'm doing decolonisation in the novel, um, which is kind of self-explanatory. The decolonisation struggles um, and the politics of writing in English for an international range of novelists. So that will definitely be nice to read some novelists that aren't white men. Um, because there's a lot of white men in English literature. I oh, know I have read Chinua Chabi's Things Fall Apart. I read that at school, but um, I don't really recognise any of the other ones. In the second term, so quite some time away yet, but um, I'm doing contemporary Scottish fiction, uh, which again is fairly obvious, and it's to do with all the like politics of Scotland. Um, lots of good novels on there, which I'm excited to read. Uh, I chose mostly courses of novels because that's what I prefer reading and writing about. I'm not a big poetry person and none of the theatre or drama courses really grab me so I think novels are really my favourite thing anyway. And I'm also doing contemporary American fiction with the same, well hopefully the same tutor that I did the course that I loved last year, American Innocence. Again there's some really great writers on there and that's studying what it means to be American or whether there is like a common theme in all of these novels or whether they don't they show that there is no common national identity to being American and post-modernity and multiculturalism and all that kind of stuff. We don't have any lecture courses next year so I won't be doing the like critical practice stuff but obviously we do have a dissertation which is separate and I don't know what I'm going to do really for my dissertation yet but um, I'm really looking forward to the new uni year now. I can't believe it's going to be my last one. And I will be taking you guys along the road of fourth year with me. So Zach ended up having to work much later than he planned. So he's coming tomorrow morning instead um, of coming tonight. But I am going to be off to the farm really super early tomorrow to finish up my packing, get my clean washing that's been drying out there. A heads up for those of you guys who don't like toes, because um, I know there are a lot of you out there and 
also for those of you who really love feet and have a foot fetish this next bit's for you because I know there are a lot of you guys on YouTube um, but that is the colour I went for I'm all clean and fresh and super ready to sleep I'm really tired today um, but I hope you enjoyed today's vlog I'm leaving for South Africa tomorrow and I am really excited 48 hours I'm probably going to be like a well I'll be sleeping but I'll have been on like a drive and seen some animals and done all of those fun things. I'm not particularly looking forward to the 11 hour flight, but uh, there we go. Especially because the one we took to Hong Kong, both ways, the way out was worse, but like was really super um, turbulency and it was just for 11 hours and I was like, Ugh. so I hope that this flight will be slightly smoother. I think I've just broken my trackpad on my Mac. I was having a little Google. It's gone like really erratic. Um, I had a little Google and it seems to be battery related and it said for ages that I needed to change the battery on my Mac. So I don't know why it's decided to do it right now. I think Zach might have a mouse so I'm going to see if I can steal that from him. Anyway, I'm going to go to sleep now you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning guys, welcome to the Dune vlog, day 17. I have to get myself to the farm super, super quick this morning, so let's go. It's gonna be a busy day today. Guys, I very quickly packed a bag. Um, I'm gonna transfer suitcases when I get home, I think. But this is my plain outfit for today. Thought I'd just show you guys. I'm wearing my Unif hoodie, which was in my most recent haul. Um, I don't know whether I might be too warm in a jacket as well. Um, I'm wearing my leather trousers at the minute, but I kind of wanted to wear joggers. And then I've got my Converse on as well. So, I think I'm all ready to go. Just got home, you guys, and Skinny Dip London sent me a couple of super cute cases. How cute are these? I'm going to actually switch them out today because this one is all cracked. I've had it for one and a half years now. I needed to actually replace it quite some time ago. Right, I'm currently kind of half munching some toast with Nutella whilst I try and do various bits and bobs. Um, i still got some packing to do and I've really got some charging to do as well. So I'm gonna get on that and charge everything, plug everything in, including this camera because it's very important to be all plugged in and I can talk to you guys. I tried to edit the vlog guys, but what with the trackpad being all messed up on my thing, there was a lot of faffing involved and a lot of time wasting. And if there hadn't been the time wasting, then I might have got it done. Zach's here. Just changing into my trackies. Getting ready. Yep. For the long haul. Yep. Um, I've also realised my new phone cases are, well actually Zach pointed it out, not for 6 plus. Right, I need to put my shoes on and then we need to go. We're leaving <laughs> what I hope is enough time. Well, you haven't got everything. with the bags. Guys, the lady at the security really rubbed my arm really hard. <laughs> she was trying to, I don't know, look for things. And now she's rubbed just a little bit more skin off, but we're almost getting there with it. Oh, we are waiting for our plane to be ready for us. And the clouds around will fare the way. Yes, 11 hours. I know you are 
You make me feel 